Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, this is Old Car Auto Guy. This is my 2009 Kia Sportage I call Bubbles. Why Bubbles? Because she's full of rust and she's a piece of junk. But we're gonna give her anyway. Guys, I don't even care that today is snowing yet again because we have a official announcement to make for this channel. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So that never happens. Pretty much get it lined up on the first shot. Lock her into place. Let's get her done. Well, it didn't take long to find out where the ice was. Come around this corner, turn the wheels and nothing. Slid right into the snowbank. I guess I should have known better. So guys, there's a lot of things good that are happening with Old Car Auto Guy and me personally right now. And I wanted to take a few minutes just to share that with you because I think that it really plays a huge part in the future of this channel. So first of all, let's go back to a couple of weeks ago on the live stream that I hosted. And the conversation that we had was directly related to my old car, the old 79 Chrysler Cordoba. And part of what was going on with that was I was looking for a set of special heads uh, to make more power on that small block 360. Frank Finelli was part of that conversation and after the live stream he messaged me and said, I know a guy who knows a guy. So uh, after some back and forth, um, that got me really excited to think that maybe there might be a lead there and an opportunity for a road trip. So a couple weeks goes by and it basically doesn't pan out to anything, which is fine. So I basically had to continue my search. And so as I'm, you know, looking through the buy and sells on Facebook and Facebook Marketplace and and in Canada, we have our very own version of Craigslist that we call Kijiji. Looking through there and not finding anything. And what I am finding, you know, is all stuff that's going to have to be rebuilt. And the chance you take when you buy this stuff on a marketplace like that is, you know, you don't know what you have until you get it home and it's all paid for. It could be crap. It could be good. It's a gamble. So if any of you guys out there follow, um, Nick's Garage on YouTube, and I'll put a link in the description for him. Uh, Nick basically has a garage in Montreal, Quebec, and looks at <clears throat> and focuses his repairs mostly on Mopars. And he's a big e-body guy, so he's into the Cudas and stuff like that, and he's working on one right now for himself. So uh, I've been watching his channel. He's got an engine dyno. Um, that's the big draw to that channel is the engine dyno and, and all the poles that he does for different people and different engines that he builds. So I took it out on a whim, looked up the phone number to his business, which is Indy Auto, and uh, I gave him a call. And lo and behold, Nick himself answered the phone. So back a few months ago, you guys may recall that I sent Nick a New Brunswick flag 
to hang in his shop because that's what he does is he asks his viewers to send him flags from various countries and states and provinces so I sent him one and if you watch his channel in the very back wall behind his challenger that he's working on you'll see a New Brunswick flag I sent that to him so I told him when I when he answered the phone that it's uh, you know my name is Jason and I'm the guy that sent you the New Brunswick flag he remembered getting it and uh, so we got talking a little bit and told him what I was looking for he said he would have a look around and uh, ask a few friends lo and behold he calls me back today and says he's got a buddy who has a set and they are about half the price of a new head but I'm getting both for that half price so what he's gonna do is he's gonna ask his friend to bring them in he's gonna check them over for me see what kind of condition they're in maybe I'll have him rebuild them uh, but maybe I'll just bring them back home and uh, go from there but regardless we might have a road trip to Nick's garage in the near future so if we do that of course I'm bringing you guys along the next big thing is I have been in talks with a couple of beard product companies um, and trying to get some sort of a sponsorship put together and I think we have finally come with old car auto guys very first sponsorship opportunity until everything's official I can't reveal the name but the details have been worked out we're just wait basically officially waiting on a contract and when it does this channel is going to have a sponsorship I'll be sure to bring that along to you guys so you can see what's going on with that and of course where it's a sponsor I'll be talking a little bit about it on each video so those are a couple of the big things that basically relate to this channel specifically there's a couple of things in my personal life and in my business that uh, we've been trying to put a few things together and that uh, one of them was I've got a uh, a newcomer to Canada who is from Dubai originally from Egypt who has taken a job here at one of the local factories and we've been trying to get him approved through one of the local banks to buy a car we started this process last Thursday and here we are now a week later finally got approval after fighting and many phone calls back and forth I don't want to say fighting but conversations deep conversations with the banks trying to make sure that we can uh, make this happen and finally today it came through so I'll be sure to get uh, a little bit more details on that when this customer picks up his vehicle I'm gonna ask him because he is a new subscriber and uh, I'm gonna ask him if he would mind being on camera so we can kind of go through a little bit of the process of what it takes to buy a car at Old Car Auto so guys I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you're happy for some of the successes that you're going to be seeing coming up in the very near future I cannot wait to share this with you I can't wait to get these heads and hopefully that they're gonna work for this project and get some video uh, and some episodes done on replacing those heads on the old Mopar and when that's done get her out onto the street see how she works so guys I appreciate everybody sticking around for that t-shirts and hoodies are still for sale at bonfire.com it is the first link in the description box below I hope you have a chance to support the channel there as well Thursday nights are our live feed night so this coming week it will be on straight six fans I'll put his information right here you can follow that link to his page and make sure you subscribe and you can set the reminder on the live stream so that you don't forget and uh, YouTube will let you know when that's about to start so we have a good time talking about uh, automotive news our channels growing um, sharing our subscribers uh, with each other and uh, everybody benefits from that because we get to build on it and uh, you know we have a lot of fun so I hope you're able to tune in Thursday nights at 9 o'clock Atlantic time that's 7 o'clock Central um, you know how to do the math to find out where you're from uh, to, to catch that live feed also my license plate challenge is still going I've been receiving a few and I'll do a mail call on that so that you guys can see where they're coming from and who they're coming from so if you have any old license plates kicking around if you're in Canada my Canadian address is down in the description box if you're in the US I have an American address so it's going to save you on a little bit of shipping so we're just trying to put this project together for my garage and uh, hopefully we can get something uh, on camera for that as well so guys as I always say in every video you got it stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror I love you God bless let's do it again in the next video
Stop.